Deuteronomy 31, verse 8 says, And the Lord, he it is that doth go before thee. He will be with thee. He will not fail thee, neither forsake thee. Fear not, and neither be dismayed. Lord, you're omnipresent. You're before me and behind me. You're at my side, and you have already traversed the path ahead. Through the wisdom of your word and the prompting of your spirit, I press forward with confidence. You have never failed, and you never will. You are always with me. God, dispel any doubt that lingers in my heart and replace it with trust. I pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Welcome to your meditative prayer on relieving stress to get the most out of your spiritual journey. I hope you use Pray.com every day. Make prayer a priority in your life. Our goal for today's meditative prayer is relieving stress. I hope you'll take a moment just to kind of unwind, center yourself, find a place, a position that will allow you to relax and reflect. And as you maybe close your eyes, take a couple of deep breaths. Reach out to the presence of the Lord. Invite the Spirit of God to move in your heart. Now turn your focus toward God's Word and receiving from Him. We will be meditating on Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 8 from the King James Version. The Bible says, And the Lord, He it is that doth go before thee, He will be with thee. He will not fail thee, neither forsake thee. So fear not, neither be thou dismayed. I hope you'll take a moment right now to let your worship rise up to God. God, I praise you, for you are mighty to save. I adore you because your faithfulness will never fail me. I praise you that you are my deliverer during times of distress. I worship you for you alone have power and dominion over all the earth. I give you my love, my adoration, for you are in control of everything and every circumstance. In Jesus' name. God has already prepared a way. The unknown can be difficult to face Fear of what tomorrow may bring will leave you shaken and stressed. And it's true at times. Life can be trying and filled with hardship. Who isn't stressed? Obstacles and obligations can make you feel overwhelmed and overcome. Especially with goals and deadlines constantly threatening to drown you. Keeping your head above the water can almost seem unendurable an unachievable task. However, don't give up. You are not alone, and there is hope to be had. Know that God will never leave you, and he will never turn his back on you. God is bigger than any situation before you, and by the way, he's already prepared a way. God cannot fail. His faithfulness is a promise already manifested. This, then, is your opportunity to present yourself before God's throne of grace. Think for a moment on what is making you feel anxious and troubled. Now acknowledge those areas of weakness, concern, brokenness, maybe weariness, to the Holy Spirit. Share with him your helplessness and despair. Confess your, your sins to God. Tell the Lord of the storms that threaten to flood your heart and drown your spirit. Now open yourself up to him. Reach out for his refuge and his reassurance. Now consider the provision of God in your life and thank him for it. Thank the Lord for making a way 
in the wilderness, for going before you and ensuring your way, your path. Thank God for his immeasurable power and for his unending mercy, for sustaining you through seasons of hardship and for supplying your needs. Thank God for the love and assurance you will always have in him. And never forget, God is present and he's listening to you. This is your chance to come before him and ask for his divine provision. Ask God to supply your needs according to his riches and his glory. To fill your cup to overflowing and to bless you above and beyond measure. Ask the Holy Spirit to empower you to have faith in God's mercy and to know that defense and deliverance can always be found in Him. Ask God to teach you to seek Him as you seek sanctuary and your stronghold, to know that He is a sure foundation upon which you can build your life. Remember, the Lord is the one who will go before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. So don't be afraid or discouraged. God is a shield that cannot be splintered or shattered. He is your promise and your assurance for the days to come. So reach out to the Lord and allow his power to comfort you. Hear me, God loves you. He wants to bless you this day and all others to come. Thank you for completing today's meditative prayer on pray.com. By incorporating this habit as a daily practice, I believe you're making prayer a priority and strengthening your walk with God. I'm Dr. Tim Clinton, president of the American Association of Christian Counselors, and we love being a part of your life.